Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and I am leaving for Toy Fair in New York tomorrow, so we'll be able to take a look at a whole bunch of great stuff, but one last video because something came out that surprised me. Um, I've been talking about things like the Bakugan remake and uh, turning mech card and stuff like that, but as it turns out, the alpha group answer to this, called Screechers Wild, is already out on store shelves. I found this at Target today for $6, I think it's normally 7 and um, this is uh, this is Optimorphs, although I have to admit Screechers Wild is a terrible sounding name. It, uh, it, it doesn't roll off the tongue quite the same way that Optimorphs does. So what Alpha Group has done, and you can actually kind of see like a new style of the Alpha Group logo down there, but what they've actually done is they've taken Optimorphs and they have renamed it into Screechers Wild. Why? I'm not sure, but I should be able to ask a few questions on Saturday. But what it is, is... Uh, Optimorphs, it's similar to uh, Turning Mech Card, which I uh, have here, in that you have the cars that transform when they hit a magnetic object. Although in this case, it is a kind of magnetic disc rather than a uh, rather than a card like in Turning Mech Card. Now, the one I have here is uh, Night Weaver. It is a uh, car that turns into a vehicle. There are actually several levels. You have these, you have like the basic cars. They also have like the deluxe larger cars that cost a bit more. And then on top of that, they also have the um, the launcher sets. Now this is Night Weaver. It turns into uh, a spider. We actually have like a little, a little hologram up at the top there that, uh, that shows the the transformation gimmick, but to my understanding, this is actually the one that, in the original Optimorph show, is used by somebody named Joseph. Oh my god. No, not that Joseph. This Joseph is a woman, and she looks like, uh, I don't know, a Jesse clone reject number 347. Now, um, something that's interesting about these is that, uh, on the back they show how it works, and uh, in the actual, in the new Screechers Wild show, what it is is it's actually like animals driving these vehicles that then transform into the same animal, which is kind of weird. It's like, it's like Robotech only with animals. Um, and I'm taking a look. We have the the, the vehicle, which is kind of this thick car here that is supposed to actually do a flip in the air after it grabs the disc. So something on the level of how Phoenix here, Phoenix here actually jumps into the air when it grabs a card. This one supposedly will actually do a backflip before landing as the spider mode. And they also have some instructions here on how to take a look at Screechers Wild on YouTube. Um, the box, they, uh, they, the, the box, I am kind of surprised at how subdued the design is. One thing that the original Bakugan had going for it was that the packaging was very bright and attractive. And this is just, uh, it's a little bit dull. It has, it has the, the foil on the name here, which is a little, a little hard to catch on camera. I mean, it has the nice bright yellow here that contrasts against the black, but it's not the most eye-catching packaging I have ever seen. And ooh, something I actually noticed is that the uh, the uh, the Nightweaver, it's actually pre-painted. That's actually kind of interesting because uh, I actually have um, the, uh, I actually have a, uh, I, have, I think it's called Chill Knight or something. He's uh, a character from Optimorphs 2, which is still in China, and he had like 30 decals to put on. So the fact that these are actually pre-painted similar to Turning Mech Card is actually worthy of note. And the fact that these are right now half the price of Turning Mech Card is also notable as well. Although the, the paint looks a bit rough when compared to the Turning Mech Card. Um, it also comes with two of the transformation discs that have kind of a kind of a peg in the middle there. That's kind of interesting because the ones that came with the uh, ones that came with uh, this guy here actually was just a, a flat disc. And to my understanding, there's not really much of a game going on with these things beyond just grabbing the discs and coming back. So let's open this packaging. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's start with a uh, quick look of what we got here. This is Night Weaver. Um, the wheels, first of all, I have to notice that the wheels are actually just kind of wheels that clip on a peg here. One of them actually popped off while I was uh, unboxing it. So it doesn't have the nice uh, the nice bearing wheels that you get on the McCard ones. It, uh, eh, I guess they spin fairly well. Uh, maybe maybe not as quite as well as the the mech card ones, but it's still a start. Um, we have uh, the uh, the top windshield, which is totally painted over in a silver color. We have some lightning details on the side. Now, if this were anything like the the one I got for uh, the uh, Optimorphs 2 one, we'd have to render all of this detail in decals, and you can see just how many decals are on this thing. It can get pretty crazy. So. Uh, we, we do have some wheels that are permanently attached here. 
they're, they look to be on a bit more of a bearing. This thing is actually quite a bit larger than the, the Metcard vehicle. It's a lot thicker, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot larger. It'll be interesting to see, let's see. Um, so we have uh, this part in the front here is where the disc will go in order to activate it. And this is a, it's sort of a mousetrap device that triggers the uh, 360 jump. And that's why it says uh, caution on the bottom here because you don't want your, uh, your, uh, your hands to get caught in it. And this guy came with quite the insert. This is like poster size for Screechers Wild. And it has everything from the first line. It looks like there's actually uh, 16, 17, 18 going on here. We have, uh, we have a bunch of a uh, bunch of the characters listed here. We have Jayhawk, Revdactyl, Sting Shift, Rattlecat. Ooh, that's getting dangerously close there. V Rex, which oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's a tank that like rears up into a dinosaur. We have Monkey Wrench, Gate Creeper, Croc Shot, Night Vision, V Bone, Pyrosaur, Smokey, Spike Star, Spark Bug, Night Bite, and Night Weaver. Hmm, I don't see. Uh, I don't see. Uh, I don't see Blizzard Knight on here anywhere, and I know this is like version 2, but I think in version 1 they had a version of this as well, and it transformed into a humanoid robot. Oh well, maybe they're trying to avoid it because they're going for the, the Screechers Wild look, and on the back it's just the uh, the massively overhuge instructions in order to re-transform it back to normal. So, let's take a look at how this thing transforms. And there you have it. It does indeed do a full 360 degree backflip and land when it transforms. That's actually pretty neat. And so far I haven't had it fail to do the complete flip. That's actually uh, not not uh, not badly done at all. It is awfully uh, shell former-ish when compared to a lot of the things I've seen in mech cards so far. It has uh, the, uh, the face is revealed by the hood splitting open. These top parts here fold into the legs, although unfortunately the legs are not individual and uh, free-flowing, and the uh, hood here to the trunk just kind of uh, pops up to represent the back of it. Now, the actual flipping mechanism is this mouse trap here, which unleashes itself upon uh, opening up, and it does close all the way, so even when it's uh, fully closed, it will be uh, flush against the side here. So, let's take a look. In fact, let's compare it to, uh, to Phoenix here. So... Here's Phoenix from Turning Mech Hard. And this is uh, Nightweaver right here. Now Phoenix, you can actually see a lot of that added detail here. A lot of the stuff that's painted in on the inside. And that doesn't seem to have happened here with uh, Nightweaver. The paint seems to have been reserved for the outer portions of the body. And the actual inside doesn't have uh, any visible paint on it at all. So you can very clearly see the difference between the two. Although this one... Uh, it's, uh, they are admittedly different brands, but, um, considering that this is about half the price, the performance does seem to be up to spec. I don't know how well it would do on a track or anything like that. They do have, uh, special launcher sets like I showed you in the poster there. Now, let's see, uh, in order to close this thing, first you start with the head, then you do the legs, then the boot, oh, dust boot, before finally, uh, closing the mouse trap there. It's a bit of a shame that you can't close it into car form without uh, pouring on that uh, that heavy mouse trap because if you let the mouse trap go then uh, it will not stay shut anymore. So it, it, it's a pretty powerful spring so uh, be ready to display it in beast mode if you plan on uh, displaying it anywhere. So that is it. That's a look at Nightweaver which is from uh, Screechers Wild by the Alpha Group. Look forward to uh, seeing more of these sorts of things at Toy Fair. I know uh, Mattel is going to be there. They're probably going to have Turning Mech Hard. If we're lucky, then uh, Spin Master Booth might have something as well. But until next time, this is Nightweaver by the Alpha Group, and this is Kodak signing off.